there were some lectures which were left behind lectures for secondary services and in secondary services we were left behind with only three chapters as per i know and the last information given to me by one of your uh, class student and ganguly ma'am so the lecture which was left behind was safety security telecommunication and the last one was fire and if we want to do something more then we can go ahead and do the rat repellent system also now we have completed primary services in primary services we have done water supply and sanitation which we were supposed to make layouts then we did electrification and we did light and lighting for all these three chapters we were supposed to make layouts and submit them for your submission and marking secondary services we had started with ac we did two types of acs one was the regular ac split ac window ac ductible ac then we did one more which was called as vrv and vrf system once the ac was completed we started with thermals and acoustics where you all were supposed to use those kind of materials in that office maybe for your flooring the partitions the ceiling the window and then there was one more layout which was supposed to be done and i'm still waiting for that layout to come to me once that is approved then we can move ahead with the rest of the layouts in total there are around 10 layouts now telecommunication system the layout what you all need to do is we'll have to use all those equipments which are nowadays used for communications when i say communication communication the way it started communication when there was no electricity so when i say communication during those time was made by or done by sign languages smoke signals and then communication also is whether you are there opposite to someone that is like face to face or whether that person is not in front of you is somewhere else which can happen on a equipment which we are using nowadays or it could have happen at those time or during those days by some other means when i say other means there was there were no there was no electricity so we used sign languages and morse code and sailors used to use something which is called as morse code which was tapping onto some metal surface or a harder surface for us to know what they were coding at finally when we got electricity then how things changed and when i say electricity we got that is what was called as telegraph telegram where if you remember it telegraph was discontinued maybe a year or maybe one and a half years back where they used to have a small wooden pad connected to a metal like a digitizer it used to go tick 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 and the message was sent to the other place where it was decoded so when i say equipments electricity and then it went on where we actually got a phone a landline phone where your voice was traveling from one location to the other location now this is how where we started getting connected to one another by means of wires see how things are changing earlier there were no wires then there came wires and finally today you all are connected not by means of wires you all are connected by means of satellite but everything will have a instrument every instrument will have a software or networking so slowly once we got electricity once you got a phone that's where we got the mtnl into the picture with the phone then it went on and you got your typewriter you got your photocopier you got your printer telex now how these things were all connected and put together into a machine which was called as a face mile or we even call it as a fax machine where not only words but a typed matter can go from one location to another location and when i say another location it can be 
in any part of the country or any part of the world telephone we got mtnl as a service provider and as a service provider mtnl then gave us std lines s isdn line pr line ivr line these are the things what we get as a software and then it moves ahead so i would like to suggest if you all can log into any of these website which are your service providers like mtnl airtel is there bsnl is there and look out for the kind of things what they are providing us we go ahead with the phones and then in that we have that hotline facility then we have that hunting facility then you press one you get someone you get press two you get someone else so all these things or like normally when we call a bank they say you dial one for your banking account you dial two for your credit card account all these are given to us by our service providers they have also given us in those times facilities for video conferencing then teleconferencing all these was a part of during those days and then we got epbx where the lines was transferred not by a single person or a human but it was transferred by means of machines digitally it was transferred from one person to second person and then whoever the person used to call they used to ask and then the line was getting transferred epbx electronic private branch exchange meltron is one of the company which gives you these kind of equipments then there is nk there is bpl all these companies so we'll have to log into one of these companies and find out what kind of a epbx system nowadays we are using then moving ahead from phones and then cameras then your photocopiers and then your printers and all and slowly and slowly what things changed during the last 20 years which never changed in the last 200 years finally you got your computers and with the computers your cell phones were not very behind and then how cell phones were converted to your smartphone and then this is where everything was digitalized networking came into the picture server room came into the picture so once you are doing some interior project we need to know what kind of a requirement digitally it needs so today we are doing smart homes this is where all this comes together and you put it into one place so you don't need to be there manually digitally on your phone everything can be taken care of so when i'm doing in an office we have reprographic area which will have my printers teleprinters photocopiers a xerox machine a fax machine so then how all these hardwares or how these equipments came into the picture so we need to know all these equipments how do they function what are their sizes what are the kind of lines they need like a data line or a computer which is attached to not one person maybe a 20 person or maybe 20 people working in an office who can just give a print command and the same printer will get all the prints there now that we are all connected because of the computers and satellites all these new words which has come into existence like lan van man then server rooms fiber optic cables internet ethernet modems routers hub so one should get used to all these kind of words related to networking how is a server room set up done we have already done this sheet in the class get some references from there because that is where your data and voice lines are going to come how are we going to conduct video conferencing nowadays in a conference room so related to this all equipments plus i need you all to do a survey where you will have to put it on paper the kind of banks we used to have in those times and the kind of banks and the working the methods of working for those bank what is there today you'll come to know the difference how we used to work with only hands and on papers and those checkbooks how they were written how the passbook was written everything was 
done with hands today you don't need to do anything with hands it's all the computers which is taking care of it layout when you're doing a layout i need you all to put all these things into that layout you'll have to show a reprographic area in that office where all these equipments will be there and how are you going to connect these equipments to your server the layout what you're supposed to make is the same commercial office what we were working on in that you'll have to show these equipments locations of these equipments when i'm saying equipments is the printer the photocopier the fax machine the xerox machine and how they are connected to the server room where you are going to get the connectivity from that is your data and voice which we have already done in the server room layout take the help of that so the more you want to do you will have to find out more about all these equipments and how they work how today am i doing teleconferencing what is the way i am projecting my image to the other party who is in the other part of the country or other part of the world then if i need to send them a image or at the same time if i need to speak to someone or if i need to do a presentation which is there on my laptop how the connectivity is done the main thing today is communication and with the help of these equipments without them i don't think so any office will be able to function like for example if i am doing a dealing room where dealers are dealing with different companies and they are uh, in the share market like at a time they use four computers how do they use those four computers how is the connectivity done to them so all this you'll have to put it in that layout and for your reference i am also giving you a layout how that layout is done but don't think that layout is the last thing you can from your side put whatever is possible and once this is done we'll move on to the next one which is safety and security once safety and security is done then we'll move on to fire that will be the last of all the chapters i hope you'll go through this and when you're listening to this please carry a paper and a pen so that if you need any questions you can send it across i'll be ready to help you out thank you thank you so much when you do your layout see that you show your location of epbx which obviously will be in the server room at times it can be in the reception area also then telephone cron k r o n telephone cron should be seen there wifi points in the office in the conference room polycom you need to find out what that polycom is video conferencing facilities camera remote control screen repro area with connected printers a xerox machine a shredder and a fax machine